Sounds really excited. good. I want to drink it. I know. Hurry up and start the great video. So Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. Look at our messy kitchen. You can hand stir them brownies. Oh, I guess. Where are you? It actually guys. does say to hand stir them. It? Yeah, it actually does. 75 to 100 strokes. <laughs> so, we, we are doing a couple videos for you guys. We just did a finished food video, which you guys might actually see before this vlog. And then we're doing a mitten crate video, so we're getting ready to make some brownies. And here's an update on Oakley's noggin. How's your noggin? It's looking better. But anyway, we've got the kitchen all set up in here. We've got the lights. We've got this awesome light. Thank you again, Mike. I'm using it. Look, we're using it. <laughs> and uh, we have these here, red velvet Oreos that were sent to us by Alexander from California. And he wanted us to do a video where we make, we either try them or make something with them. So we're going to make Oreo balls again, but we are going to make red velvet Oreo, Oreo balls. That was a lot of words in a sentence. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna make these brownies for the mitten crate so we can film the mitten crate. And we're gonna have more food apparently. More food, more food! Apparently I got soaked washing dishes. Jamie, you got me wet while washing dishes. See this. Look, at, look at this, look at that mess. Trying to stay clean, we're all wet. We had to wash some of the stuff we need to make some brownies and Oreo balls. <laughs> and then, we're gonna watch this movie. If you guys have never seen this, if you guys don't know by now, I'm kind of a fan of the Muppets being that Dark Crystal is my favorite movie ever. If you have never seen Dog City, <laughs> you should totally watch it. Good luck finding it. They have some of the clips on YouTube, but not the whole thing. But if you haven't seen it, you should see it. And if you have seen it, comment below and let me know that you've seen it. Because this is an awesome, awesome movie. So we're making the brownies for the mitten crate and they're like ridiculously thick. <laughs> But they, they smell good. Mm -hmm. I think they smell pretty good. What do you girls think? Too bad. Can't have chocolate. <laughs> Oakley's like standing over here. What's up, guys? What's up, baby girl? How's your head, huh? How are you feeling? Silly dog. So here's the brownie mix. And because this will probably go up before the mitten crate. Do, 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 come over here. This is the brownies it is. Among friends. Handcrafted baking mixes. I don't know where they're from. Somewhere in Michigan. Getting ready to watch Dog City. I look down and this is what's looking back at me in my computer. <laughs> no. So there's our brownies. Now we're gonna go finish our mitten crate. Mm -hmm. They look good. We'll have to see. We're gonna pre-make our chai tea for the mitten crate too. So that's what we're doing. And we just watched Dog City. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> See, Greg never seen it before. I've seen it a lot of times. Jamie's seen it a lot of times. Did you still like it, Jamie? Oh yeah, I still like it. <laughs> it's a good show. You should watch it. It's funny. All right, we're all set up to do our mitt and cray. Mitt and cray. This smells really good. I want to drink it. I Hurry up and start the mitt and cray video. So this time we like some of the stuff in here had to be pre-made. So we pre-made the brownies and we pre-made the tea so that we don't have to like stop yeah. in the middle of filming. Because so, we've had to do that before where you have to stop and wait. And now I'm making everybody wait. Now we have wait. to sit here and stare at brownies and sell <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gross. I'll let the Look dogs in. chocolate coming out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let the dogs in. Do you ever have that moment when you lose your phone and you're like, where's my phone? Let's try this again. Somebody call my phone. Here, phone. Here, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's helping. Does that help? No. I haven't found it yet. Where is it? Can I just text you? Somebody can text me. I don't know where uh, my I phone is. Phone is but... <gasps> oh, there it is. It's in my coat pocket! Found it! Alright, we're making the red velvet Oreo balls. For those of you that didn't watch that video on how to make Oreo balls, you need a 16 ounce package of Oreos, and since the red velvet ones are smaller, we're gonna use both of them. You need some cream cheese, and then you're gonna need some chocolate to dip them in, which I found this at Walmart this time around. It was kind of cool. It comes with a microwavable tray, and you just microwave it and then dip it. So we're gonna crush some Oreos. All right, we got our red Oreo dirt. We're gonna put it in here with that. Mix it together. I think it's gonna dye your hands red. Mm, no. Aww. Not enough red dye. 
And now we have Oreo balls. Now we're going to put these in the freezer for 10 minutes so that when we dip them in here, they don't like fall apart. Maybe. Their hands turn red yet? No. <laughs> it's because they I'm use not, that new red dye. I've gotten much better at this though. And it, it's not I, that. I learned that I can make two at once. Oh, check that out. It's not that red dye that they used to use when we were kids that dyed everything red. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they outlawed it. Red 40 or whatever it not, was. Not so much outlawed it, but I think uh, companies quit using it because it was bad for you. Well, that too. Like I don't, I don't think that's that why they quit using it. <laughs> <laughs> I think people just quit buying the products with that in it because they're sick of buying new carpet. Right? <laughs> or your balls. So this is kind of cool. It says remove from package, put it in the microwave for 60 seconds, stir it, and it's ready to use. So we're going to try it. Another trick I read on the internet said to put these on a toothpick and that then dip them in there. This melted really good, so I tried one and it's looking good, so time to do the rest. We have Oreo balls! And we had some leftovers, so we put it in the brownies and somebody might be eating it with a oh. knife. <laughs> Is it chocolate? I got that on Is camera. It white yeah. It's white yeah. chocolate. Mm. Rub your finger in it. Right. It's I'm white chocolate. <laughs> Is it good? Just it's good. It. It's white chocolate. It's good. Like the stuff they put on pretzels. All right, screw you guys. Oh, more that I can eat, though. I'm having one of these. Yeah, because now you gotta eat one of these. So these are red velvet Oreo balls, covered in uh, white chocolate. Covered in white chocolate. They're kind of big. Mm-hmm. Mm. That sounds real. Those are ridiculous. They taste like cake. Oh my God. <laughs> Memphis is like, please. Those are good. We need oh, more God. red velvet Oreos. Delicious. That's a win. We still gotta make the mint Oreo balls. Is it a win, Greg? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have red velvet Oreos at home, you don't know what to do with them. Right? Turn them into Oreo balls. Oh. Are you having a sugar heart attack? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Delicious. Not for the puppies, I'm sorry. So thank you, Alexander. Yes, thank you again. We're now I have to thank you. For sending us the cookies because we made amazing Oreo balls. I'm gonna take some home. <laughs> yum 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 yum. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.